Hey folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you. Now today I want to discuss the fallout from the Texas frozen wind turbine crisis where 25 or more people have died from the cold and lack of electricity. But more importantly, I want to examine is Gritty a failure? Gritty is the online computer-based app that you pay about $10 a month for and you can get market price wholesale electricity instead of going with the standard electrical company. Now the, the advantage to this is you're paying on average around five cents a kilowatt hour where it can get down to as much as a half a cent a kilowatt kilowatt hour as, instead of the normal five to ten cents a kilowatt hour at a standard place. Now the interesting thing is Gritty did warn its clients on Sunday, so right before this all kind of blew up, that they should switch providers because they could see prices were going to rise. Now how often do you find a company that says, hey time to switch provider, right? Well that's what they did and I got an article right here from ABC 13 there, headline, Texas Energy Provider to Customers, please leave us, it says. Fortunately, many of the people could not switch and they're stuck with Gritty because a lot of these other companies aren't taking more clients on until the middle of next week or later. Now the interesting thing in this article is there's a lady with a one bedroom uh, place. She's out of work so she, she switched to Gritty to save money and she was really happy because her bill was never more than $50. Unfortunately now even though she paid $200 the other day she owes more than $450. So it's looking like it's not such a great idea. I got another article here from the New York Daily News. They talked to a lady who has a four bedroom house in Spring, Texas. Her bill is Typically, $40 a month. Well, she's had to pay $450 in one day. $450 bucks in a single day. Her bill is now over $6,000 for February alone. February alone over six grand. Y you know, that's crazy. And she said she's got her heat set to 62. Well, hate to tell her on a side note, us from Minnesota, that's kind of how we live winter up here so that it doesn't cost us too much. But at 62, she's over 6,000. So then the question is, is Gritty a failure? Is it not a failure? What's going on? Found this article on Reddit called $910 Gritty Bill through 2015, the experiment has ended. Has it really ended? Well, I'm going to say no and let's go through and see why. This price spike scenario did happen in 2019 in August when a heat wave went through. The difference between then and now is it would spike and go down and spike and go down so they could cool the house off in the morning, run their washer in the morning, everything when the electricity is cheap and try to conserve when the electricity is expensive. Now that actually makes sense and that's a common sense way to do things if you're going to save on this. But what happened this time is the price spiked to $9 a kilowatt hour almost immediately and it's stuck there. So everybody's stuck at that. $9 a kilowatt hour. And as I page down and I go through here, I run down to different people complaining about Gritty, and I find down here, BTS227 says, my girlfriend has Gritty, and through 215, she has an $1,880 bill. She lives in a small apartment with poor insulation and just got killed with Gritty. It'll likely be worse as it goes, but I told her to cut the water and power off and just leave. Well, it's not a bad idea. Get the heck out of there and shut everything down. Uh, we have a spot up here, DRO, oh, oh two days ago, constant is $9, is now eating me alive. Other companies have halted switching until the 20 second i've completely stopped using electricity but we still use 14 kilowatt hours on monday and got hit with 85 dollars. so they shut everything down and still had to pay an 85 dollar for all the superfluous stuff in the background that you can't shut off that's crazy now the question is is this how it's going to be is this really going to work is gritty gone or not I'm going to say no, and here's why. I go up a little, and I go to Pongo000, and he says, We are still in for one reason. We have solar, and so far we are ahead because we've been a net generator of power, especially while prices have maintained the high cost. Frankly, we've been lucky to have sufficient pockets of sun. And that's the whole point. If you do have sun, and if you do have batteries, and you have solar and micro wind to back it up, you can run your house, and you can run it with no problem. You're not going to run everything, but what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to survive situations like this, maybe feed some back onto the grid and make some money, and not have to worry about it. And that's what I'm saying, is Gritty is misapplying themselves right now. They're selling it to anybody and everybody and saying, hey, who cares about the risk? It ain't never going to happen. But it did happen. Companies like Gritty have to... Focus their clientele onto the proper clients, such as people who do have a solar system and backup battery bank, or a micro turbine and backup battery bank, or both. The whole point is, you've got that battery bank, you can recharge it during the day, and protect yourself and run your emergency loads until the crisis passes, and until the power goes back down. Gritty is not a failure, but who they're selling their product to is a failure. Gritty needs to sit back, reassess, and instead of panicking and telling clients, okay, it's time to leave, go find some somewhere else because you're going to get screwed with us. Gritty needs to find clients that will save money and succeed because they chose themselves to protect themselves from what's going on.
I mean, just imagine if during this crisis, while everyone else is paying six, seven, eight thousand dollars to get through it, you don't have to. That amount of money you're saving, that six to eight thousand dollars, is going to take a huge chunk out of that forty thousand, fifty thousand dollars you spent on a solar system with a backup battery bank. You get two or three situations like this, and instead of having an eight to ten year payback time, you got a one to two year payback time. Time for Gritty to do the right thing, time for Gritty to find the right clients, and time for more people, especially in Texas and others to protect themselves by producing their own energy, by going green, by installing their own solar, micro wind, and backup battery bank. Turbine Guy, signing off.